box, which you should see on the right. Uh, if you can hear me, show me your first name and where you're from, and I'll say hello. I see Charles uh, checking in from somewhere. <laughs> Curtis in Seattle, Charles from Pleasanton, and let's see else. We have Bill from Sh Shreveport, Louisiana, Bill, Seminole, Florida, Mike from Montreal, Bonjour. Uh, we have Scott from Columbus, Georgia, and the question box should be on the right. Bob from Grand Rapids, Carlo from California. Uh, we have SP from the Bay Area, Hans from Germany. We have Al from Scottsdale, Arizona. We have Mary from Dallas, Texas. Roger from Portland, Oregon. Uh, Joseph from Miami, Florida. We have Mr. Liu from Hong Kong. Philip from Edinburgh, Scotland. Gee, I hope that isn't Prince Philip. I know he's up there this time of the year. Uh, let's see uh, who else is coming in here. We have uh, uh, Mark from Reno, Nevada. Must be cooking over there today. That's why I'm back in the Bay Area. It was getting too hot over uh, at Lake Tahoe. Okay, well, it's 101. Um, let's get the show on the road. Hello, I am John Thomas, the Mad Hedge Fund Trader. And uh, we're going to talk about catching a year-end rally. You might think it's a little bit early to catch a year-end rally, but it's never too early to start. There are plenty of opportunities going forward. Uh, we've already had our best year in the 13-year history of the service. Let's see if we can make it better still. Uh, first of all, if you're new uh, to these webinars, let me talk about who I am. 50 years of experience in the global financial markets, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo, Japan, and later the White House under Ronald Reagan, 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley, uh, Marine Corps of Combat Pilot in Desert Storm, a little brief time out there, 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund, five years fracking for natural gas in Texas, 13 years publishing the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader. I am one of a handful of founders of the modern hedge fund industry who is still working. Okay, uh, let's go back to the next page. Uh, okay, my family origins are very humble, growing up as the oldest of seven children on a remote farm in Southern California. That's back when Southern California was mostly orange groves uh, and date farms instead of housing tracks. I uh, lived the all-American childhood playing Little League Baseball and becoming an Eagle Scout. Um, wasn't much to do in California in the old days except to go hunting. So I picked up a job as a paper boy for the Los Angeles Herald Examiner one of the first papers I delivered covered the Kennedy assassination. I found the stock pages, bought IBM at $20, sold it at $30, and suddenly found a far better way to make money than delivering newspapers uh, on the back of a bicycle. By the way, I got fired from my first job ever because I spent so much time looking at the stock pages. I was always late with the newspapers. By the time I was 16, I earned enough money to fly to Europe, and that's when flying to Europe cost a king's ransom. By the age of 17, I'd visited more than 50 countries and spoke four languages. Uh, at UCLA, I majored in math and DNA research, which landed me a job at the nuclear test site in Nevada. Yes, that's where they blew up atomic bombs. Their yield didn't mean interest paid, but millions of Russians killed. I didn't see much of a future in that, so the government sent me to Southeast Asia for a few years of research missions where I learned how to fly and jump out of perfectly good airplanes. There I advised the uh, militaries of America's Asian allies. Of course, in those days, doing research meant carrying a 45 caliber British Sten gun. We used to reliably jam on every seventh shot. 
Uh, and after years of government service, all I got was this box of uh, uh, medals, which I bring out once a year uh, on Veterans Day. And that's me uh, uh, advising the Army of the Republic of China, the very tough looking bunch, aren't they? Uh, as a foreign correspondent, I covered China during the Cultural Revolution, was the first American reporter to visit North Korea since the Korean War, and covered the rest of the continent all the way to India. That's me at the North-South Korea border at Panmunjom. That's me in Beijing. And if you're looking why I'm particularly skinny in that picture, that's because there was a famine going on and you couldn't buy food for all the money in the world. Uh, I figured out very quickly, you didn't have to be that smart to make money in the stock market. So I got into the industry joining Morgan Stanley. After 10 years there, I started my own hedge fund. I know you're thinking that's me in the early 30s. Boy, the years have been cruel. And that's me losing the All Japan Karate Championships. Warning, do not enter a final match with a broken hand. But you know, I had to make the finals, whatever the cost. I think that hand still hurts when the weather changes. I rapidly became the top performing hedge fund of the 1990s, eventually bringing in a 1,000% return in a decade. Uh, there I ranked number one out of all the hedge funds in the world. Uh, that was when there was only 115 hedge funds and our combined assets under management were about $250 million. Now there are 10,000 hedge funds managing $4 trillion. It's seen a little bit of growth along the way. Uh, then the money really started to pour in. It's an underestimate, understatement to say that when your income goes from the thousands to the tens of millions, it really has an impact on your lifestyle. You get to do things like uh, go marlin fishing, fly your own private plane, own the hottest new car, and collect vintage Rolls Royces. This is my entry in the Pebble Beach show. I sold my hedge fund in 2000, retired to go into the oil and gas industry. After making a killing there, I missed the stock market, so I started the diary of a mad hedge fund trader in 2008, and it's been straight up ever since. I now spend my days pursuing my first love, finding winning trade alerts, but now I do it from my three mansions in San Francisco, Lake Tahoe and Zermatt, Switzerland. Unfortunately, I can't visit Zermatt, Switzerland this year because Americans are banned from visiting Europe because we are too infected, we're too contagious. I've quit turning millionaires into billionaires. There's far more job satisfaction, leveling the playing field for the average guy and teaching them how to trade. And that includes you guys. If I can take a $50,000 account and turn it into 500,000, that it's more job satisfaction than I could get anywhere. However, every silver lining has a cloud. Just finished filing my 2019 tax return and on 15.5 million in trading income, I owed 5.7 million in taxes. Ouch, at least I got a three month delay this year, uh, but it still hurts. In the little free time I have left, I pursue my other love, flying vintage aircraft on weekends. If you see an old plane flying loops over San Francisco or London these days, it's probably me. Uh, notice the design flaws in this plane, gas tank directly over your head, uh, and no brakes. That's why we have to land on grass fields. This is a 1932 de Havilland Tiger Moth made out of Norwegian spruce and Irish linen. Really solid stuff. The ultimate luxury, of course, is to give those who need it. Uh, as a Marine combat pilot, I uh, volunteer for grief counseling for widows and orphans, and I'm a major donor to wounded warriors. When wildfires hit California, I visited the main evacuation centers and handed out $10,000 worth of Target gift cards. And this, by the way, is my in-law's house Notice the SIF box, they were looking for a wedding ring, uh, which they eventually found it was made out of platinum. That's why it didn't melt. And this is all that's left of their dinner set, which also survived because it was pre-fired. So what is the smart money doing now? Well, uh, using capitulation down days like we had a few weeks ago to buy the high quality stocks and two year leaps, selling short bonds, hedging out downside risk, 
uh, with put options, defensive sectors, and bear ETFs, and buying gold on dips for an additional hedge, which has worked out fantastically well. Why am I so happy in this picture? That's because I'm flying a P-51 Mustang. If you don't know what this is, this is my friend Geraldine, a uh, World War II fighter. It's a bit of a cross between a jet engine and a piston engine with 2,000 horsepower. Uh, incredibly exciting to fly, but if you don't know how to fly it, it will kill you. Hard to get out of a stall. So Corona update, US cases top 4.6 million, deaths at 155,000 and climbing. Cases are exploding in 26 states. New CDC forecast calls for 180,000 deaths by the end of August. Uh, that'll be 1,500 deaths a day by the end of the month. Half of all Americans could be infected by year end. Arizona, Florida, and Texas hospitals are getting overwhelmed, returning to field hospitals. New wave is spreading to younger victim, victims, so the death rate is falling. It's now under 1%. At least five companies are close to delivering a vaccine uh, in a year. There are in fact 70 companies now that have vaccines in development and five of them have already received billion dollar orders from the US government, even though it hasn't been proven to work. Talk about a Hail Mary. All companies will be involved in production to quickly turn out a billion vaccine doses with five companies getting orders already. True vaccine, available to all is at least a year off. So uh, get used to wearing those masks and you might even think about getting a better design of a mask. The plain old white ones are boring, but they do work. Uh, global economy has gone from a V to a W. Another word for that is double dip. Recovery is shifting as another wave of shutdown hobbles the economy. Q2 was the worst uh, history uh, worst quarter in American history with a GDP down 32.9%. Uh, that is you losing one third of the economy at an annualized rate. The unemployment rate is about to soar as PPP and state unemployment money runs out. 20 million home evictions are imminent. Uh, the new Great Depression deepens with 47 million newly unemployed in 10 weeks, the Fed targeting 52 million. Some 20% of these jobs are never coming back. A lot of people are going home for good. They'll still be working. They just won't ever commute again or use gasoline or buy any stuff like they used to buy or meet after dinner, uh, meet for dinner after work or go to a bar. Weekly jobless claims hit by 1.43 million, still well into the millions. Four months into this pandemic is depressing <laughs> and amazing. Uh, will the next one trillion stimulus package go straight into the stock market? Probably yes, that's where almost all the stimulus has gone so far. Uh, nothing like free money to boost stock prices. Uh, just to show you how weak the economy is, this is US uh, hotel occupancy rate. It's running at 50% of peak levels. It's a level that guarantees the bankruptcy of the entire hotel industry if we don't recover quickly. And US restaurant bookings are even worse. They're down 60% from the peak. These are ruinous numbers for whole industries. Weekly jobless claims still at historically high levels. And we may revisit that 6 million peak that we saw four months ago with all of the layoffs now coming. Uh, we do have an historic antidote right in front of us. The government has already implemented the greatest economic stimulus program in history with six trillion in spending, soon to be seven trillion in the pipeline. That has unleashed the greatest QE in history at eight trillion dollars, increasing all the global QE of the past decade by 50% in one shot. When people come out of lockdown, they will engage in the greatest spending pitch in history most consumption hasn't been lost, just deferred. This will create the strongest economic growth in history. I'm sorry if all these superlatives are getting boring, but that's the environment we're in. And the re rebound will start either in the fourth quarter of this year or next year. Stocks will rocket. Don't sell anything now. Most of the damage of the weak industries has already been done. There are no good short plays left. Uh, you're really only looking at buying opportunities from here. 
Uh, stocks, uh, the reclosing trade is on. Monster Rally and Big Tech shows that's where the action remains and will remain for the rest of this year uh, and going into next year. Apple hit a new all-time high at 435 on spectacular earnings. We've been buying Apple since $10, which was the low in the Great Recession. Big short squeeze put in a classic market top with a lot of uh, small lot retail buying as the turbocharger, people buying fractional shares of Tesla and so on. Reopening sectors took the biggest dive, uh, like airlines, casinos, crew lines, then bounce back, but no sustainable move since then. The future is in disruptive growth tech stocks like the cloud, robotics, gene editing, alternative energy, and blockchain. Banks are banned from paying dividends and buying back their own shares, so they have been lagging. The market is not close to reflecting the long-term damage to the economy. We could be entering a wide 2,700 to 3,200 range in the S&P 500 until the election. Uh, just to show you where we are in historic PE multiple terms, this is the dot-com bubble top. This is right before the uh, Great Recession top. And we are right here right now. If that doesn't worry you a little bit, you should be. Also, the fact that almost all the buying is concentrated in only six stocks is another worry. So we have been taking profits lately, uh, but we'll be back in on the next 10% dip for sure. And we have strategies for you, which will minimize your risk, maximize your returns on any one of those dips. Uh, this is our outlook for the rest of the year. We see a range 2,700 to 3,200, but eventually an upside breakout and new all time highs probably going into the election or coming right out after it. So any bit dips, you know, down to 3,000, down to 2,800, you probably want to be buying big tech with both hands. Uh, NASDAQ, same sort of deal, except it's going a lot higher. You can sell, we have our buy and sell signals here from a proprietary uh, algorithm. That's got us out at the top in February, back in at the bottom, then basically buying every dip. Uh, since then, we'd we'll be taking profits now, but looking to jump back quickly on the next correction for again, new all time highs. We expect to see a NASDAQ 13,000 by the end of the year. Uh, Microsoft looking for a new high then. It hit our initial target of 200, which we've had since it was $50 about four years ago. Uh, our new target is $250 a share. Uh, and that could, could happen in a matter of months. Uh, Apple, uh, again, we were buying this at $10 at the Great Recession low. Uh, hit our initial target of $400. We've since raised that to $500. 5G fever is here. Uh, Apple was the number one most purchased stock in July. That has not changed. We expect that to continue every month for the rest of the year. That's why we think we can get to $500, especially once they announce their new 5G telephone. Again, we missed the meltdown in February, got back in at the bottom in March, been buying every dip since then, issuing tons of trade alerts to buy Apple. Again, buy the next dip for a run at new highs. Amazon, uh, probably going to be the first $2 trillion company. It's worth, uh, uh, $1.6 trillion now. I actually work with Jeff Bezos back in his Morgan Stanley days, so I know him quite well. And uh, at $2 trillion, if the company is broken up, the individual pieces would probably be worth $5 trillion. So uh, at least another double in this company. Keep buying the dips. Tremendous value there. And again, we got out at the top, uh, rushed back in, and uh, since then we've gotten nearly a double off the March bottoms. Okay, Amazon, and what else do we have? We have PayPal. Uh, of course, touchless payment system are the star in any kind of pandemic. Money, especially paper money, is a fantastic spreader of the disease. You're better off paying by uh, a credit card or by an Apple swipe or by PayPal or Square, all these companies are doing fantastically well. 
and we've been consistent buyers of this ever since the March bottom. Again, our target here, $250 by the end of the year. So there's at least another 25% move in this stock. NVIDIA is the quality play in semiconductor chips. They make the high-end uh, graphics cards needed for gaming and artificial intelligence and blockchain. Uh, we got our sell back here, bought back at the bottom. We originally got into this stock at $60 about four years ago. Been a huge money maker, still has plenty of upside. We're looking at $500 in NVIDIA by the end of the year, by NVDA. By the way, I know the people there, they're very nice. Salesforce, all about customer relationship management on the cloud. Suddenly with the pandemic, every business in the world wants to expand their online business. Surprise, surprise, because that's where all the money is being made. Uh, we got out, got back in, looking to buy dips, target of 250 by the end of this year. Boeing's certainly been uh, hit by a triple whammy, a perfect storm with the uh, 737 MAX grounding and many of their largest customers going out of business or only taking delivery of new planes if they get 100% financing from Boeing or the Government Export Corporation or something like that. So we think there's a buying opportunity somewhere around $100 a share. Eventually the company will recover. They've had no trouble raising uh, new money through bond issues. So, uh, and now you have the government as part owner. So um, I would be buying this on any major dip down to $100 a share. Seattle Genetics, of course, we're big in biotech. I also edit a uh, biotech newsletter, which is essentially turned into a Corona newsletter for uh, among my other sins. And that gives us great insights to all of the COVID-19 plays out there. We have a buy recommendation on Seattle Genetics, target 450, entering a buying point now, uh, look for a major run on this to continue. Illumina, another Corona vaccine front runner, be buying uh, this one on dips. Again, target there 500. Bonds, uh, while stocks are expensive, bonds are even more expensive. Uh, we got yields down to 53 basis points on the 10 year last week. Uh, from the bottom, we've had a 20 point short covering rally delivered by the W, you know, the recovery as the economy went from a V to a W. That creates the best short selling opportunity out there. We took profits on 10 bond short positions on the way down and then made money on two longs. Uh, largest five-year bond issue in history just came off for that hitch. Powell says he won't raise short-term interest rates for three years. How about that for a free uh, put option? Another short selling opportunity in the century is in play once Corona peak cases peak out again. Uh, and by the way, you don't trade make money trading on what's already happened. You make money trading on what's gonna happen next. And what happens next is we peak out again see another decline that creates a monster rally in stocks and a monster sell-off in bonds. That could take U.S. Treasuries from 180, the TLT, uh, their peak in the spring, all the way down to 105, taking interest rates from 0.31 all the way to 3.25. Bottom line here, sell short every rally in the U.S. Treasury bond market through the TLT. Uh, here is the TLT. Uh, our last trade was back here. We did our buys here. We're now selling anything really over 172. Our eventual target is way down here at 140 for this year, but 105 by some time next year. So you can see what I mean, great selling opportunity. Uh, that's, that's what that means. Okay, moving on here. Here's the TLT, here's your yield. Uh, we were at 62 basis points a few weeks ago, got all the way down to about 53 last week, had a big drop today uh, in prices, rise in yields, and eventually we are looking at much higher interest rates, much lower prices. Uh, foreign currencies, of course, uh, ultra low interest rates mean a collapsing US dollar. 
US dollar is plunging across the board, hitting multi-year lows, massive quantitative easing, and bond issuance is sucking the life out of the greenback. Euro has broken to multi-year highs, as there are roughly 100 times more deaths per day in uh, Florida than all of Europe, allowing Europe to reopen while we stay closed. British pound is soaring on a European recovery. Bitcoin has hit a four-month high on the dollar collapse. Aussie dollar jumped to an 18-month high. We've been long these really since March. So keep sh selling short every U.S. dollar rally. Its yield support is gone forever. Uh, here's the U.S. dollar basket, the UUP. We've been selling it since March. It's in free fall now, looking for much lower prices. Can't really see how how much lower, but the fundamentals for, have turned in this market. And when fundamentals uh, change in the currency markets, they usually change for years and years. Uh, Australian dollar is our number one pick, and I have a 10-year chart up here on the Aussie dollar. Uh, you can see we have a massive double bottom going back to 2010 uh, when it got as low as 52 in March. We eventually see one to one for the Australian dollar. Uh, that means it will double off of the March low. Uh, and that offers the greatest short, medium, and long term trading opportunities of any currency in the world today. And of course, the Australian dollar is the best play out there for a global economic recovery, which will happen later this year or next year. So buy the FXA on every dip. Uh, energy, we've had a reclosing dive. Fear of slowing recovery causes energy stocks to dive along with oil. Production supply demand gap is shrinking, but it still is historically huge. I just learned that uh, they closed the largest uh, refinery in San the San Francisco area today because of lack of demand. Also because San Francisco is their highest cost basis uh, refinery in the country. Much of the lost demand is permanent as the U.S. economy restructures to a less transportation-oriented economy. I don't know about you, but when I commuted from my third floor to my first floor, I didn't use a lot of gasoline in making that move. And tens of millions of people right now are in the same situation. Uh, most mass transit systems are running at 15% of peak capacity. They're not using a lot of energy either, cutting back schedules. Maybe half of all listed energy names will go bankrupt in 20. Don't confuse gone down a lot with cheap. Any price spike will be temporary as oversupply against fading demand will last for years. Avoid all energy plays like the plague could drop by half in the coming depression. Uh, here is a 10 year chart on oil. And you can see we have a major downtrend it's actually been in play for 10 years now. Actually hit $2,150 a barrel in 2009. Uh, you can see here's a 20 year chart. Uh, and that is much more convincingly showing the downtrend. We think oil revisits $10 a barrel again, if not zero. You don't want to be anywhere near this sector. Uh, precious metals, new all-time high. Finally, it's been a seven-year wait. We have been bullish for the last two and a half years. It has worked like a charm. Portfolio hedging demand piles on top of central bank buying, creating a big gold shortage. New QE and Finney has sparked a monster rally in gold. Collapsing dollar is another big help. Central banks are still pouring into gold every month. Coin dealers are running out of gold American eagles. Bottom line, buy every big dip in gold. And that's me doing some early Christmas Christmas shopping uh, in the Istanbul gold market. I used to get around quite a lot before all the airlines in the world quit flying, before we were all banned from visiting every country in the world. Uh, here is gold, and we have broken out of the old high of 1927 an ounce uh, in the, in the uh, hard metal. So we think that's worth a, a $3,000 per ounce target sometime by next year. When you have a seven-year base, the longer the base, the bigger the breakout. 
certainly it's worth at least a 50% move past the old high from here. You can say our algorithm got us out before the collapse in, in really in 2012. Uh, and since 2016, we've been buying every dip here, 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 and here. And we're still long and still loving it. Uh, if you like gold, you like the gold miners even better. This is the GDX. We uh, uh, see new highs for this. Since it's a basket, you can't come up with specific targets. And if you like gold miners, you like the biggest gold company in the world, Barrett Gold, which has the symbol G-O-L-D, and it would be buying dips on this also. Uh, this has gone from uh, $6 to $30 uh, since the 2015 low. Already had a big move in there. There's more to come. Uh, there is an all, another alternative investment opportunity of one. This is Tesla, the next trillion dollar company. Tesla's total cumulative production has already hit a million cars. Battery costs have dropped by 80% over the last 10 years and will fall by another 80% over the next 10. Second factory in Shanghai will increase production from 400,000 to 550 this year and a third factory in Austin, Texas will start construction this year. And the thing that most people don't get about Tesla, the data collection is worth far more than the car. Yes, Tesla has collected far more data than any other company in the world on actual miles driven, which puts them in the front seat on autonomous driving. And believe me, I love the autonomous driving, especially at night with my old eyes I can't see. It can react far faster than I can. What's dangerous is when you go get a rental car and it doesn't stop by itself and it doesn't drive itself and you, you forget that initially when you get into the car. U.S. electric car sales have risen from 0% 10 years ago to 4% of the total market today and will soar to 100% in 20 years. I was advising some high school kids a few weeks ago. One guy said he wanted to be a mechanic. I said, remember, in 10 years, it'll be illegal to sell a new internal combustion engine car in most of the world. You can only service a diminishing market. It's a bit like becoming a buggy whip uh expert in the, the year 1900 just before the horse population of the country fell from 150 million to uh a 1 million that was quite a decline the same is going to happen with gasoline engines tesla's already outselling all premium car brands in the us combined including mercedes bmw audi jaguar uh and they have a 10-year head start on the technology End of this year, they bring out the Model Y SUV. Uh, Tesla's totally eaten their lunch. Many countries and states have banned internal combustion engines by 2030 or 2040. You won't be able to find one really after 2030. Tesla's already the world's largest car company by market cap at 300 billion, which was the peak a few weeks ago. They could still grow tenfold from here, which will pay for plenty of trips to Mars for Elon Musk. Uh, here is the stock chart, uh, and this is a three month chart. Uh, we originally recommended Tesla 10 years ago at $16.50 a share uh, after the initial IPO went bust. Uh, since then, we've actually had a 115 fold return to the 1800 high we saw a few weeks ago not a bad return. You buy the stock, you get the car for free. That's basically what that means. Uh, this is my newest Tesla. That's the $162,000 fully tricked out with the ludicrous mode Model X. Warning, uh, if you go from zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, bring plenty of air sick bags. I'm a combat pilot. I'm used to uh, aerobatic moves. Your passengers may not be so, especially if there are kids. So it's not bad to have some air sick bags in the car, along with maybe a towel or two. You want to keep that new car smell. Uh, here's my first Tesla, which I bought uh, 11 years ago. It was chassis number 125 off the assembly line. I actually got to sign the factory wall when I took delivery. Unfortunately, a drunk driver on Christmas Eve had other ideas about me driving this car for its full eight-year warranty. Uh, so I got rear-ended. 
Uh, and uh, I took the opportunity to take the car to a shop and completely take it to pieces to see what made it tick. A lot of people talk about Tesla, very few have taken them apart. You can see here's the 1100 pound uh, lithium ion battery underneath the back seat. And you can see the carbon fiber wheel wells, which make it the safest car in the world. Aluminum panels uh, today are uh, aluminum, but in five years, the whole car will be carbon fiber, uh, reducing the weight by 90% and increasing the strength by 1,000%. And that will also lead to huge mileage increases. Don't play with matches. You could probably do okay just buying all the stocks I mentioned above and forgetting about them. However, the reality is the conditions for these companies change every day. They're all viciously competing, trying to put each other out of business. If you don't get daily updates on the fundamentals, you could easily get wiped out. Today's big winner could instantly become tomorrow's loser. That's why you need somebody like me to guide you through the thicket to avoid an out of the blue blow up. I gained financial independence for life uh, with all of this and so can you. All of this can be yours. Discover how to make thousands of dollars a year in extra income Go from complete beginner to season pro in weeks. Learn how to quit your day job and trade for a living full time. Trade from anywhere, anytime. Supplement your retirement income with the satisfaction of booking winning trades by the hundreds. Uh, and that's me trading from the coast of North Africa, trying as hard as I can to smile because it's 820 degrees. Uh, harsh truth is uh, you really need my help. The majority of individual traders lose money. They lack the correct training and discipline to succeed. Most broker research suffers from grievous conflicts of interest. Wall Street is all about moving money from the uneducated to the educated. Easy solution to that problem is to get educated yourself. Fidelity did a 20 year study and learned that their top performing investors were dead people. Why did dead people do so well in the markets? They never sell. They didn't sell Microsoft at 100 or Apple at 200 because they thought it was too expensive. And this is me list, taking advice from my friendly broker, Pinocchio, who I met in Northern Italy, uh, where the uh, myth originated. Notice that the entire shop has nothing but Pinocchios for sale. Kind of looks like a branch of Merrill Lynch. Uh, you really need a pro to guide you through the market maze. The market is not a monolithic and 95% of it can be completely ignored. There are a few great sectors and a lot of awful ones. You can earn a 10 times return on the great ones, but get wiped out by the losers. Let a 50 year veteran steer you to safe waters. Let me sit next to you and guide your hand on every winning trade. Here's the secret to our uh, success. It's our my market timing index. It's an artificial intelligence driven algorithm that analyzes 30 different economic, technical and momentum driven indicators 30 times a day. Uh, why do you need an algorithm? Well, why use a toolbox missing its most important tool? Algorithms have become so dominant in the market, you should never trade without one. It does the work of a seasoned 100 man research department in seconds. It runs real time and optimizes returns with the addition of every new data point far faster than any human can. Imagine a trading strategy that upgrades itself 30 times a day. Don't go to a gunfight with a knife. If you're trading against algos alone, you will lose. Algorithms provide you with a defined systematic trading discipline that will enhance your trading profits. Uh, I'm not the only one using algorithms. I was walking on the uh, waterfront in Miami last year, back when you could visit Florida. And look what I found, a super yacht, and guess what it's called, algorithm. Obviously more people than me are using this. In fact, some 80 to 90% of all current trading is algorithm driven. Uh, this is a typical year of buy and sell signals. Notice we get lots of buy signals at market bottoms, sells at market tops. And there's enough uh, recommendations where you get plenty of round trips a year, plenty of opportunities to cash in. Uh, this is how the algorithm is done over the last few years. It's up 160% in 10 years. Uh, Mad hedge fund trader is up 3.6 times 
the S&P 500 with far less volatility, averaging 36.32% uh, average annualized return. And notice we uh, only have drawdowns of five or 10% at the most. Uh, we stop out of losers very quickly and then jump back in. And notice that it's sideways up, sideways up, sideways up, uh, year after year after year. And this is a typical hedge fund type performance in the market. This is making money in all market conditions, whether markets go up, down, or sideways. Bill was a struggling tobacco farmer in Virginia who wanted to supplement his fading income. After making $3.4 million with me, he still farms, but now he's growing grapes in California's high-end Napa Valley uh, and loves every minute of it. Philip was tired of working in the boom and bust of the oil and gas industry in Texas. After doubling his money every year for several years, he now earns a generous living as a full-time trader. And Jackie was an Australian hospital administrator who turned $50,000 into $2 million with the help of me and became a major player in technology stocks. She retired in her 50s and uh, spent her time cruising around the world until it all got shut down. This is a uh, picture from one of her cruises. So what do you do about all this? Well, stocks, you want to buy the next big dip. Bonds, you want to sell every rally. Commodities, buy dips. Energy, stand aside. Currency, sell every US dollar rally. Precious metals, buy every dip. Uh, if you were not up 68.19% in the past 12 months as I was, you were reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring service. This is how we've done over the past 12 months, up 68.19%. We only had a 12% drawdown from top to bottom during the big crash this year, and then we immediately roared back up 40%. So. Uh, it's really been our best year in the 13-year history of the market. Uh, you make that kind of money, you get to do things like other people. Uh, other people can't do, like take the Queen Mary from New York to England uh, with the owner's suite, which is 2,000 square feet and comes with two full-time butlers. When you get to England, you can take the Orient Express to Venice. Uh, warning. You have to, every dinner is black tie, so you have to bring two tuxes or dinner jackets just to eat dinner on the train. And when you get to Venice, you can charter a helicopter and go island hopping. It takes a lot of time out of your daily commute. Uh, here's the very long view of what the markets are going to be doing. The 2000s and the 2010s were the hard decades for making money. The 2020s and the 2030s will be the easy ones as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. 85 million millennials will become big spenders over the next 15 years, while 80 million baby boomers, a drag on the economy, fade from the scene. That will create an economic boom that will last another decade starting in 2021. And that's me watching climbers come down uh, from the Matterhorn from my chalet in Switzerland. Uh, this is what the Dow average did from 1982 to 2000. It went up 20 times in 18 years. Are you ready for a replay? Uh, well, if you took that same move from 82 to 2000, assume we started the clock again at 2009, that takes us to 120,000 by 2027. If you think I've been smoking California's most, most uh, popular product, think again. We're already halfway there. We've already covered half the ground on that 20 times return since 2009. All I'm saying is that this existing trend continues for another 10 years, except this time it's different. Technology is hyper accelerating on all fronts simultaneously and the pandemic has speeded up the rate of change. The development of a functional quantum computer means that computational ability is about to increase a trillion fold at no cost. The world's major computational challenges will shortly be solved, such as weather forecasting and cancer cures. All major human diseases will be cured within 10 years. Live another decade and you'll have a shot at living to 150. 
Needless to say, tech and biotech stocks dominate in this scenario and will account for the stock bulk of stock market gains in our lifetimes. The 90s had cheaper computers, cheap operating software, and a new internet. The 2020s will have 10 times this number of new technology drivers. So we'll show you how to play the next 95,000 Dow points. Sit with me, John Thomas, the Mad Hedgeman Trader, and my Global Trading Dispatch. Discover how you can tap into the top performing trade mentoring service in the industry, up 68.19% in a year. Follow my research and market beating trade alerts and you will rate the profits in. Let a marine combat pilot steer you to big profits. We trade single stocks, options, and ETFs for global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate. Uh, this is a typical month for us. We did uh, 10 out of 11 trades made money. We made money 16.3% buying the S&P 500, 8.6% shorting treasuries, 14.8% uh, buying the Russell 2000. We bought Amazon, Apple, Biogen. Oops, we stopped out very quickly there, uh, then went on to buy Palo Alto Networks, selling the Japanese yen, selling treasuries again, buying spies and buying gold. Um, that's a typical month for us this year. We were running triple the normal amount of trades because of the enormous volatility. Just a matter of time before tech and biotech stocks break out to new all-time highs. Watch this space melt up going into the end of 2020. Get ready to start wheeling in those whoppers with Global Trading Dispatch. And by the way, that is a 24-inch rainbow trout, which I caught in uh, northern Nevada. It is catch and release, so I didn't get to keep the trophy. Here's how it works. We saw an opportunity in Micron technology. We got a buy signal here from our algorithm. So we sent out a trade alert, which looks like this. <coughs> buy Micron technology at 4201 or best. It's an opening trade. 10% portfolio weighting gives you 238 shares at that price. Uh, what happened? We got a 15 point 63% move in the stock in 15 trading days. What do we do next? We sent out another trailer. It says take profits, sell Micron technology at 48.58 or best, closing trade. And on this particular trade, we made $1,563 on a $10,000 investment. This is exactly how a hedge fund is run. We open and close every trade, just like a real hedge fund. This gives you complete control of your own portfolio. Uh, some of our recent winners have been NVIDIA, which I mentioned has gone from 68 up 267%. Lamb Research went up 77% in 10 months. Baidu went up 2,240%. And with my global trading dispatch service, you get a daily research newsletter Instant trade alerts sent out at market sweet spots, about 200 a year, and all the reasons to execute them. Live bi weekly strategy webinars with an interactive QA, special reports on urgent investment topics, invitations to strategy luncheons around the world, more educational videos and webinars than you can consume in a lifetime, and access to a 13 year database on investment ideas. I'll even give you the name of a surfing camp in North Africa. Warning, it's a lot harder than it looks, even though they had a seniors division. Almost got bopped in between the eyes with that damn surfboard. So this is why I'm not gonna charge you for this service. I'm not gonna charge you $100,000. That's what I charge my big hedge fund clients that are happy to pay me because I make them millions of dollars. And I'm not gonna charge you $10,000. That's what I charge my concierge clients who get my personal cell phone number so I can be their investment 911. And I'm not going to charge you $5,000. That is the uh, low, uh, lowest price for our option service on the website. And I'm not going to charge you $3,000. That is the lowest price for Global Trading Dispatch on our website. Uh, this is the real deal. Creating this product cost me millions of dollars with the best customer service in the industry. Running it cost me millions more. Today and only through this webinar, we're offering one year for just $1,997.
That's a 33% discount uh, to our regular price. If you want to take advantage of that price today, right now, just click on the chat box on the right. That will take you to a dedicated sales page, which is only available to you today. Uh, and let's see if we have the uh, uh, the uh, link in the chat box on the right. Let me find go find the chat box. Uh, da, 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 da. There it is, chat. Let me open, and there it is. Ta-da! That's the blue link in the chat box on the right. Uh, this is a limited time offer. I limited, i.e., till the end of today. We only take 25 new subscribers at one time, so it's first come, first serve. I can't wait to make you a top drawer trader. I've done this for thousands of others. I can do it for you too. Click in the chat box on the right to get today's offer only. Uh, let me pay for the money, uh, make the money for you to pay for your own subscription. You make the trades, discover how an experienced hedge fund manager finds and exploits the best sweet spots in any market. Uh, just click in on the chat box on the right. Uh, one year for just $1,997. Uh, let, let me show you how to make the money to pay for your own subscription. If you buy today, you'll receive my Mad Hedge Armageddon portfolio, stocks to buy at the market bottom or even the next 10% correction and then forget about for the rest of the, your life. These are your classic buy and forget, hide behind the radiator and forget about type stocks. Buy now and you will also instantly receive a trade alert with an extremely high probability of success that you can execute immediately or at least at the opening tomorrow morning and make some of the most serious money in your life. Don't leave good money on the table. 90% of these trades make money and 90% of these cover the entire cost of your letter on the first trade. Uh, I'll even give you a tease here. Uh, this is the chart of our trade alert, which you will receive instantly on completing an order. Uh, what I'm not going to tell you is whether this is a buy or a sell. For that, you're going to have to buy the service, figure out the name and the direction of this chart. So that's about it. Uh, I'll be checking my inbox right now. And it looks like a lot of people are jumping to beat that uh, 25 limitation we have. Just let me see who some of these are. Okay, we have Al from Scottsdale, Arizona, just checked in. Al, I hope you're staying indoors or at least using a mask if you go outside. Thank you very much for your subscription and I will work hard to earn it. Uh, okay, we have a lot of these coming in now. We have uh, Randy from Kansas City, Missouri. Randy, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, I lo look forward to working with you for the next year. Thank you for your order. Okay, let's take a look. We have another one. We have Mary from Dallas, Texas. Uh, thank you very much, Mary. Uh, you uh, should have your trade alert now, and you're probably setting up your online trading platform uh, with a limit order to buy first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, let me see what else we've got here. Okay, we have... Uh, we have Bill from Bangalore, Maine. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you for attending the webinar. And I promise to earn every penny of your money. Okay, let me get into another one here. Uh, we have Callista from Austin, Texas. Thank you very much, Callista. Uh, and I'm sure you will be happy with your decision, hopefully in a matter of days, if not weeks. Uh, that's usually how it takes how long it takes people to cover their costs. Okay, uh, let's see who else is in here. Um, okay, uh, Kamal is asking where is the chat box? Uh, it should be on the right of your screen. Uh, I'm looking right at it. It says chat uh, towards the lower right hand corner of your screen, uh, and if for some reason you can't find it, 
just send us an email at support at madhedgefundtrader.com and uh, our customer support will sort you out immediately. Okay, let's look at these orders. Look like we're gonna hit our 25 limit pretty soon. The whole batch just came in. Let's see, this one is from Alan from Sevierville, Tennessee. Uh, Alan, great. I now have an excuse to go visit Memphis so I can meet you in person once the airlines start flying again. So thank you very much, Alan. Uh, ever have any questions, just email me a question. I always answer all questions same day. Uh, uh, here's another one from another John in Seattle, Washington. Uh, thank you very much, John. Uh, we will be getting you the content and the training as soon as the uh, broadband connections will allow us. Uh, okay, I can see we we're almost at our 25 minute uh, limit now. So if you have any hesitation, you better move quickly uh, before the store shuts down. Just got one in from Judson from Miami, Florida. Gee, Judson, I wonder if that was your mega yacht there on the, on, uh, the front of uh, Miami. Uh, anyway, Judson, we have a, a large number of followers in Florida, so you have a lot of company. And back when the airlines fly, I usually get to Florida about once a year and have a strategy luncheon and meet all of you. Okay, so I'm gonna take off now. I will leave this 